Hi everyone! Today I'll be guiding you through how to make a GIF using Apple's Procreate. This video is for anyone and everyone who is interested in creating. Before we get started, I'm going to give you a quick overview of what we'll be doing today, so you can pause to look over what we'll be learning. Before anything else, we should learn what exactly is a GIF. A GIF, or Graphics Interchange Format, is essentially an animated image. It's not a video since there's no sound, and it's similar to a flipbook, like a series of images. You can learn more about GIFs on your own time on the World Wide Web. Next, we want to brainstorm the purpose of this GIF. GIFs are super versatile and can be used for any occasion. It can be a birthday card, a sweet simple note to share your gratitude, or wholesome messages you can send to friends. You should always take the time to ask yourself, what is the purpose of this GIF? For this video, we're going to be making a simple animated thank you to show my appreciation for my friends. Now that we know the purpose of our GIF, we're going to start our sketch. Let's go ahead and open up Procreate and select a canvas with the plus sign on the upper right hand corner. As you can see, Procreate has a lot of different canvases and you can even customize your own size. For me, when I make a GIF, I really like using the square size because they're easier to add on to other designs. Once I select my canvas, Procreate opens it up for me. I'm going to start my sketch by selecting a pen from the brush library. As you can see, there's so many different brushes. I personally like to sketch with a pencil, so sketching, as well as in 6B. I also really like to sketch in color, so I'm gonna go ahead and select another color. There are many different ways to view color. I personally am a fan of the disc view. Uh, since this is a thank you GIF for my friends, the focus of this GIF are the words thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that there. I'm thinking of a thank you in cursive. And I also wanna add a little bit of pizzazz to these words. So I'm also thinking about maybe adding these guys here just to really emphasize the words. And during the sketching process, I also like to add notes to remind myself what parts do I want to animate. For example, I'm thinking of moving these little guys that I just added here, you know, maybe adding them um, here and here just to create some movement. I'm also thinking about shaking this text right here as well. Obviously, this is a sketching stage, so nothing is set in stone. I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketches, and making these animations is a lot more tedious than what many people may think, since it involves a lot of duplicating layers like I just did there. Just keep in mind that Procreate sees each layer as a single frame, so understanding how to break up a movement is super crucial. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this process so we can get ahead and use the animation tool. Now that I finished my sketch, I'm going to go ahead and refine the animations by using Procreate's Animation Assistant. Here on the upper left hand corner with the wrench icon, I'm going to go to Canvas and turn on Animation Assist. As you can see, it has made each layer into a frame, and we can swipe to see the animation, or we can select Play on the left hand side, and it animates our GIF for us. Look at that, we're already halfway there. We can adjust the speed of the GIF by going to Settings, and with frames per second, we can increase it, which makes it very fast and uncomfortable to the human eye, or we can slow it down to make it a little bit more understandable for us to see. We can also pause the animation by clicking elsewhere, or once we press play, we can also select pause one more time. Now this process is to finalize and ink our designs. I do this by sketching over each frame that I've made with a darker color. So let's go ahead and select this nice maroon as well as a thicker pen size. So instead of sketching, I'm gonna go to inking and I like to use gel sinky ink. And let's go ahead and increase size on the left here. And I'm gonna speed through this process just to make our process a little faster so we can move on to the next step.
Now that we finished our animations, let's go ahead and add some color to the background. And for the fun of it, let's make each frame a different color. So I can go ahead, select the color and drop it onto my frame. And I'm going to do that for each and every one. So let's make this a nice yellow. Oh, we also have to make sure that our layers are showing. And let's go ahead and make this a nice green. So as you can see, once we press play, it's animated in different colors. Now that we have our GIF done, we must compile it and send it off to friends. So to compile it into a GIF file, I'm gonna go ahead and click the wrench icon again. And you see this share? Then I'm gonna say share layers in an animated GIF and this window will pop up. And as you can see, it shows a preview of what our GIF will be like. We can even make it a little bit slower with two frames per second or a little bit faster with four. I think that's great. So we can go ahead and export and we can send it off to friends. Now that we're at this stage, we can go ahead and send it to our loved ones. So I'm going to message this and successful means it's been sent. We can check by going to our messages and we see that it's been sent. Thank you again so much for your time and following me on this wonderful journey. I hope this inspires you to make all sorts of GIFs and have a wonderful and lovely rest of your day. Thank you.